guys, I've got another haul for you. Shock horror, I know. I'm in a slightly different background because my living room's been decorated, so my couch has been like shifted up this way, and the walls have all been like sanded and stuff. So if there's marks and stuff in the wall, that is why they're going to be painted a dark green kind of colour, which I will show you after it's finished. I know I'll still show you Davina's room, which I plan on doing this week. There we go, I've said it, so now like I'm held to it, I'm going to do it. Anyway, where have I been? I've been to Home Bargains, got a few sort of housey bits, TK Maxx got some good stuff on clearance and then Superdrug. And first of all, my last video cut off before I was able to show you this. This is the thing I got at the car boot sale and it was a pound, I'm sure I said that. And it's just this cardigan. It's nothing really very exciting, but I did say that I would show you and I do really like it. It's a really, really thin, very, very, very thin knit material and it's in this kind of hippy kind of pattern that I really like so I'm looking forward to wearing this. I can wear it like now underneath a jacket with like a black t-shirt or whatever but I think it'll be really good for it in the summer just to wear you know with a little vest top under it or whatever so that is the cardigan that I did not show you. Look I'm remembering to do stuff I'm getting slightly better and slightly more organised. Talking about organised literally had to film really really quickly so there's probably a good chance that I have some sort of food on myself, like jumper, I'm the messiest eater in the whole world and always spill food. You do not want to take me out for dinner. I'm not a person you ever want to take out for dinner because I make a mess. I eat like like a little pig, kind of like a little piggy and I just always spill so I'm not, not classy at all. Anyway, so it was kind of done in a rush and my hair's all over, never mind. Anyway, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're just getting on and doing it. These, not very exciting. It's a four pack of strong and what is it? Four powerful scooters. And I like these for, they're the ones that are like slightly rough but not too, too jaggy. And I like these for cleaning the inside of my shower because when you get conditioner and shampoo and stuff on the glass door, like an ordinary cloth just doesn't cut it. You need a, like a little bit of scrubby action but you don't want to scratch the glass. So I always use these kind of things. And they were a pound. And the next thing I got, this is more sort of cute. This is a special bag, so it was kind of on sale. It was in like their little kind of clearance area and it was only $1.99, but I don't think it was reduced. I think that's just what price it is. I don't know why I like this so much, but I really liked it. See if you can see that the little faces on it. I hate the glare. Right, see the little faces? I seem to be a sucker for these little faces where it's just literally little lines with little eyelashes, but I'm instantly attracted to that kind of pattern. And it's just like the little moon and two stars and it says good night and glittery. Can you see that? I don't know where to hold it, which is best for you to see the detail on it. It says good night and gold glitter and I've got that to go in my bedroom. Not sure exactly where, but I'm going to find a space. I'm going to be dec decorating my bedroom at some point as well. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. Anyway, so that'll go in my bedroom probably when it's been decorated. Next thing. Again, not very exciting. They are washing up brushes. These are $1.99. I absolutely love these. You get, what do you get, five of them. These are the ones I use all the time. I like to, I always, whenever I put the dishwasher on, I always put my dish brush in the dishwasher and these hold up really well getting put in the dishwasher at least like once or twice a day and they hold up really well but I still like to throw them out quite often so Anytime I'm in b and I always pick up these, the five pack for $1.99 and they come in these nice pastel -y kind of colours. So I always pick those up. Next thing I got is this. It says cat litter catcher on it. We don't have, a, we've got a cat, but we don't have a cat litter tray because um, my cat is, he goes outside to do his business. Uh, but I got this for the pet bowls because it's like a non-slip sort of rubbery, weird type material you know like rubber back so it's like it doesn't slide about so I got these for their pet bowls to go on like my cat and my dog um, their little pet bowls sit together so I got in they're only like little because my well you've seen Dora she's teensy weensy so their bowls are only tiny so I thought they would fit on there it's like one water bowl and two like a food bowl for the cat and a food bowl for the dog so I got that for that that's a, another long explanation for that that was $1.99 it's for pet food bowls you hear that I'm probably going to break something anyway we're just going to go with it because it's one of those things like if I didn't film now I wasn't going to get filmed next thing is Zaflora I've talked about it before I love Zaflora it just there's nothing that smells 
quite like it. I've been using similar kind of thing, like a nice smell is I've been making up my own cleaning stuff that with essential oils. Literally just spray a bottle of water, put in just like do this, not even counting it, like as many drops of like of like different essential oils. And it does smell really, really nice. I do like the smell of it, but nothing smells quite as strong as the flora and it's really clean stuff really well and I just I love it. So I usually keep this for doing my floors. Sometimes I'll do like my surfaces and stuff with it, but it's mainly for the floors. This one is in lavender and I'm sure this was a pound. I think it was a pound. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was a pound. And I also got this one in, it's the Zaflora again, and it's in the Linen Fresh. So I picked that one up to try it. I'm not sure if I've tried that one. I probably have tried that one. I think I've tried all of them. My mum said she really likes the grapefruit one, but it's kind of hard to come by. You don't sort of see it so often. So I'm looking forward to trying that if I ever come across it. Last thing from Home Bargains is this. It is a, It was four ninety nine, and it is a doormat. Do you know that this is... I don't know, the 20 something of January and I still have my Christmas door mat out. How bad is that? I actually bought this a few days ago and I was waiting to haul it so I didn't want to put it outside and then bring it back in with like muddy footprints all over it. So I wanted to show you, so I still have, I mean even a few days ago it was too late to have your Christmas thing out. But yeah, I still have my Santa one because when I put the Santa one down, I chucked my old one out. That's another thing I like to go through. I go through a lot of it is doormats. I like to replace them because my lovely little cat likes to leave dead mice and occasionally rats and birds and like half eaten things on the doorstep and it just freaks me out as soon as he does that the the doormat's got to go it's got to go in the bin so there's no not been any dip, but there's a christmas one out there so it had to be replaced and this just says um welcome to our home and it's got the little shoes on it there and it's perfect because that's like mark's mine divina's and alexander's it's like perfect little shoes for all of us I just thought it was really cute. It was mom that spotted this one, so really liked that, and it was four ninety nine. There's that. Sorry, I keep going off camera there to chuck stuff down. Right now we are on to TK Maxx. Let me see. I got this. This was in the men's department, though it looks very small, like it's almost like a child sort of size one. But the straps are like can perfectly fit an adult, you know, like it fits perfectly. Um, it just seems awfully small, but then small backpacks are kind of in, I suppose. It says on it, what does it say? Authentic something. I don't know what it says. Authentic brand. And it's just had a little beige backpack. It's got these sort of padded strap things on it. It was reduced to, it was on super cleaners because it had the yellow tag. So it was £5 and it was originally, it's got a couple of tags on it, but I got it for £5 and it was originally £12.99. And I thought this would be really good for the summer. Like just, I don't know, just like chucking some stuff in it, some snacks and stuff, a couple of bottles of water and I'm good to go. And can you, I see if you hear noises in the background, that are, that is my rabbits that are just say, yeah, I, I see you, I do see you. He's looking at me, he's giving me evil eyes actually. I don't think he's happy that he's not getting attention. Anyway, yes, would be good. We'd go with all my hippie sort of stuff in the summer. I do have a couple of backpacks, but I just really like that one. I've got a little thing for backpacks at the minute, I think. And I like the padded. The other ones I've got are kind of thin straps, whereas this one's like the thick ones and they're a bit comfier on your shoulder. So there's that. Next thing I got, oh, take a breath. They did have a lot of clothes on clearance. So if you're in, like, need a TK Maxx or whatever, and you're looking for some new clothes, it would be worthwhile checking out the clearance. I bought a couple of things to which I had to take back. One of them was like a bodysuit type thing that just was awful. It looked more like a swimming costume than a bodysuit. It just, it wasn't nice on. And then the other one was like a jumpsuit, all in one jumpsuit thing. It had like thin straps, jumpsuit thing. And I'm not like heavy person. I wouldn't describe myself as being heavy or overweight or anything. I'm like, I'm, I would say I was just sort of fine, whatever. I'm happy with the way I am, it's fine. But, oh, you know like a sausage in the machines you get that pump the sausage meat into the sausage casings? Picture that but it's broken and it's just pushing too much sausage, sausage meat into the casing and it's just all bulging and that's what I looked like in that jumpsuit. It was hideous, absolutely hideous. I think no matter what shape or like everybody's got their bumps and their bits and you know but like 
oh it was awful it was bad really 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 bad and it was a shame because it was like a lovely like dark blue color it was just it was really lovely and i was very <laughs> disappointed I didn't get to wear it but I looked like a burst sausage in it so I decided against it and I think that was reduced from like £25 to like £4 or something so they do have some good things on clearance I wasn't really looking for a lot of clothes so that's why I didn't pick any up I got this one for £3 which I thought was really good it was 3 then 5 then I'll see what the 3 5 before that 10 before that and then I'm trying to see the original price they really stick the stuff on so that when you pull one, £12.99, so it was £13 and I got it for £3. And it's this, it's like a check shirt, but it's also like a tie-dyed, like you've been cleaning your bathroom and bleaches sort of got all over you, just kind of, it's weird. It's got that kind of, again, hippie type thing that I seem to be going for lately. It's like tie-dye and check all at the same time. Like you've had a nice check shirt and you've just went a wee bit crazy with the bleach. That's kind of what it looks like. But I like it. I like the fact that it's a little bit different. It's a little bit weird. And it's in this nice like soft kind of flowy material and you can like roll up the sleeves. It's got a little button and I just, I don't know, I really liked it. And for £3 I thought it was well worth getting. <sighs> Take a breath. I'm like whizzing through this because I've got like quite a few little bits and I don't want the video to be too too long. I know a lot of people don't like the long videos, but then a lot of people do, so I should just take my time. Next thing I got, this wasn't on clearance, it was on the clearance stand, which kind of I was obviously at because you know what I'm like for a bargain, I like the clearance a bit. But this wasn't on clearance, but I couldn't resist it and it wasn't very expensive anyway, it was only £3.99. But the colours in it, I'm really hoping these come off. It's a plant pot, by the way, did I say that? It's just like a plant pot. The colours just, I don't know if they're going to come off. But they're like vibrant, but so they're, I don't know, they're just, it's like old fashioned kind of print. Whoa, that was my ring hitting off there. I'm kind of scared I'm going to drop this. I'm super clumsy. Right, okay. If I hold it there, maybe. It's like pink, but the, I don't know the colours. Are just kind of they're not neon but they're very vibrant and I was just really attracted to it and I like all the flower pattern I'm really hoping you can see that I like all the flowers on it and I thought it was really really pretty so I'm going to get a little plant for that probably an artificial plant given that I'm not very good at keeping stuff alive okay in here I've taken this this came in this box I don't know why it came in this box. I think it's maybe to stop people being able to steal it so easily. Maybe. I don't know because I can't think why that would be in that size of box. I got this for £2 and it was originally £4.99. This is a fragrance like a cologne. Does it say here cologne? Yeah, cologne spray. It's by the library... <coughs> sorry. The library of fragrance. I have one like this that I bought on Amazon and it's in the baby powder scent. Oh, do you hear me? <coughs> Sorry, my voice seems to be gone. That's what happens when you talk 100 miles an hour. Yes, this make, and it's in the scent Baby Powder, and I absolutely love it. I really love it. It's like one of my favourite smells. It just smells so clean and lovely. And this is the same company, except this one is Fig Leaf. So it was sealed in the box, which seems a little bit crazy for a fragrance to be sealed in a box that you can't get into in the shop, so you can't smell it to see if you like it or not. So you just kind of have to go by the name and think that sounds like something I'm going to like. So I got it, smelled it when I got home, and I do actually like it. It's an unusual smell. Again, not good with the describing of the smells. It's like a deep, let me spray it. I think I actually have that baby powder stuff on, so this is probably not going to smell nice. It's like a, it, it smells like figs. It's like a deep, oh, it's nice. It's like a deep smell but without being it's not like florally because you know i don't like the florally smells it's just nice but like in a deep kind of way but not musky that's a that's an awful just awful description just awful anyway i paid two pound for it and it's well worth it because it does smell nice and i don't mind like little body sprays and little sprays like that but i don't usually like perfume as you know because i've said it probably a hundred times Next thing I got, we were on the way to the tell, me and my friend Karen, and she sprayed this, and I was like, oh, now I have to get that. 
It is vanilla brown sugar and it's room spray. It's in this cute little bottle with the little silver polka dots all over it. This was 2 dollars This is full price, not on clearance. Oh my goodness. Does that not just smell? It sounds so nice to you. Vanilla brown sugar. It's so... I've never had like a room spray that I don't think that smells like that's that kind of scent. Like I've had candles. That That's the kind of candle and thing that I'm attracted to. But I've never had a room spray like that. And it smells exactly like you would think it would smell. Like vanilla and brown sugar. It's absolutely gorgeous. Kind of like a little bit... I don't know. It's a little bit sweeter than like a cookie smell. Very vanilla. But got that kind of slight bakery smell. It's absolutely lovely. It's really... I couldn't resist it. How nice is that for your house to smell like that? It just... It smells so lovely. In fact, you spray that, people will think you've been baking cakes all day. How good did that be? Right. TK Maxx bag empty. Last thing, this was three ninety nine, and this is the. Let me see, what is the brand? Oh, oh it's in French. We're not going to do well here. I'm not even going to. I'll show you the bottle and hope that you can see the label. Maybe you can see the label. I don't know if you can see the label. Anyway, it's a lavender pillow spray. This smells so good. This smells like real lavender, like fresh lavender. Oh, it smells like a cross between actual lavender, like the lavender plant, like lavender and old lady perfume, which is just oh, too good. It's just too good. Not old lady perfume. It's not old lady perfume, but like old lady soap, maybe old lady soap and real lavender and a little bit like my grand's house because it smells like lavender. And it's just, I love it. I just absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. And I haven't used this and I've been desperate to use it and spray it on my pillows so I'm excited to finally be able to use it because I was saving it to show you. <gasps> Another breath. Right, on to Superdrug. I went into Superdrug to get conditioner. You know I'm like trying to do all, like get mainly cruelty free stuff and things. So I went in there to get the conditioner because you know Superdrug stuff is cruelty free. So I picked up a few of the other things because I thought I would give them a try. So when I was in, I did get the conditioner. I also got, I got, I'll show you the conditioner I got because the conditioner's not very exciting. This is the coconut and sweet almond conditioner. I've tried this before. It does the job. It's perfectly nice and it smells really, really lovely. And the smell kind of lasts on your hair even after it's dry. You can still smell it. It's nice, but not overpowering or sickly. I also got the grapefruit one, but they do lots of different scents. The grapefruit one is really, really nice. It's especially nice if you have, if you're like a morning shower type person, which I am not usually, but it's still a nice smell. Anyway, these were one ninety nine, but it was buy one, get one free. So they were a pound each basically. And I got a couple of those. So there's that. I keep saying that. So there's that. Anyway, the what did I get? There's only one packet of these in here, but I actually got two. They're just the cotton wool oval pads, and I can't remember how much they were, but it was like buy one, get one half price, but they weren't too dear, but slightly dearer than maybe like body care or something, but not too dear, and they look like they're nice and thick, and I got them to use with some of the other stuff that, I showed you, that I'm going to show you in here. Another thing, my set, I don't know if I'm saying this right, probably not, because you know me. My cell my cellar, my that you know that it's like the water stuff. My, my cellar, micellar, miss, you know that, you know that stuff, that but not water oil face wipes. Can you hear that? My little bunny. Anyway, face wipes. I got face wipes. I think these were like one pound twenty three or something, and I've never tried them, so I don't know if they'll be any good. But they're cruelty free. These are for dry and sensitive skin, and it says gent gently removes waterproof mascara, which is good if it does that because. I do have waterproof mascara that I really do like, and but I tend to wear the non-waterproof stuff because I just can't be bothered scrubbing my eyes to get it off. But then I get those like eyelashes where my eyelashes touch up here, and I have to like do this throughout the day and like wipe off the little eyelash marks. So it'd be nice to be able to wear waterproof mascara and have something to take it off. Okay, next. Oh, it's that word again. It, this is vitamin E skincare. These are all like Sainsbury's own make, and it's that gentle. You know the word I'm talking about, micellar, my, 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 that word, it's that water stuff basically, it's for taking off your makeup 
and it's got vitamin, rich in natural vitamin E, high in antioxidants, and I got that to try it. I've not really tried a lot of super drug stuff, so I got that. They also, this is probably TMI, but just in case, all the super drug stuff is cruelty free and such like, and I went in there and I found, they do sanitary towels, and like, most of the people that watch me are women, and I'm sure if you're a guy, you're probably not bothered, like, it's just a fact. Anyway, they do them in there, so if you're looking for a cruelty free sanitary towels, or any sanitary products, Superdrug is a good place to go. People a lot of times don't think about those kind of things, but because I'm kind of trying to make a conscious decision to buy a lot of things that are cruelty free, I've been thinking about those things. And they're things that like hair conditioner and things are things that you buy all the time. Obviously sanitary products are things you buy all the time. So it makes a difference if you're using, you know, cruelty free versus that. So just in case anybody else is, you know, feels the same way or is looking to make a change or whatever, that's a good way to do it. So you could try that. Anyway, probably TMI for a lot of people. What did I get? Vitamin E Skincare Nourishing Night Cream. It's this little pot of night cream. This was 3 99 I'm pretty sure this was 3 99 And this smells really, really lovely. It smells almost coconutty, but I don't think it is coconutty. I'm not sure if it's got coconut oil in it, but it smells really, really lovely. It's like a... Not whipped, but it's like a light kind of cream. It doesn't look too, too... This just looks like a big white cloud like you can't even see that anyway it's white cream it's nothing really exciting but it does smell really nice and i've not tried it but i'm looking forward to trying it i think i'll maybe do like a favorites video try these for a wee bit and do a favorites video soon and if any of them are like really good i'll show you them and then you know in case you're interested if you're looking for that sort of thing can you see my hair i've got it all behind me because it's literally look a frizzy the ends of it are just it's getting cut getting cut if I can be bothered, I will go out tomorrow and get it cut. If not, it's happening very soon, it's getting cut. Davina just got her hair chopped off. All, I think it's up to about there. Her hair was the same length as mine and she just got it chopped up to there. Anyway, next thing is pore cleansing pads. I just said about the video being long and then I ramble and ramble and ramble and add other wee bits and added on dribble as, as Mark would say. He doesn't say that to me, <laughs> he doesn't just added on dribble. But you know when somebody goes on and on like I do. A waffle. This isn't just because I'm on camera. I do that in real life. I literally waffle and waffle and waffle. Pore cleansing pads. I've got two. It was buy one, get one half price. And I can't remember how much these were. Were they $3.99? I'm really sorry. I can't remember how much they were. They're basically, they're apparently really good for blackheads. But I think they're like a little bit scrubby. And they're just the circle ones. And they look like that. Kind of like the Clearasil type version. Clearasil have had these out for ages. This is like Superdrug's own version, and I thought we'd get that to try. I know Morgan uses some of the, I'm not sure if it's these ones, but she uses like face things, and I, I, I think I got them before, but I don't think it was this packaging. But she says, she swears by them and says they're really, really good. Um, in case you didn't know who Morgan was, that's Morgan from the channel, Miss Morgan, and it is my cousin. So if you haven't checked her out, you should go and check her out. She's lovely. Next thing I got is natural, Naturally Radiant glycolic overnight peel you put this on your skin i thought it was like a peel like you peeled off and i hate those peel off masks they're just agony it's like torture it rips out every little hair and by going by those face masks i must have a really fuzzy face because that is agony like eyes watering it's awful anyway you, this isn't it you just put that on and then it, you wash it off during the day i think it's like a cream you put a pea size amount on and you am i just doing this for no reason probably you can't see it I don't think there's anything really that exciting to see anyway. I don't know what it looks like inside. I've been really excited about trying these. It's just like a little tube thing of cream. I've been really excited about trying these, but held off until, it's quite runny actually. Um, Held off until I showed you. This was, I'm pretty sure this was 5 99 And it's apparently leaves your skin like radiant. And I think it takes off like all the dead skin and stuff because it's got like acid and stuff in it. So it takes off all the, you know, not the top layer of skin, that sounds a bit harsh, but you know what I mean, all the dead stuff on the top. And this, when I got to, I saw this, I just fancied it. I don't know if you've heard of the one, uh, Lazero, the polish and something. My mum used to have it in the shower all the time and I always used to use it. It's the like hot face, not face wash, what are you calling it? 
um, do, 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 brightening hot cloth cleanser and it comes with a muslin cloth well Liz Edel used to do one and it was this was 5 99 and that one I think was like 26 pounds or something like that it was quite pricey but it, that one was really really good so when I saw this I thought I'm going to give this a go because I always remember using my mum's and really really loving it so this again it comes with the it comes with like the cream stuff and then it comes with the cloth inside it as well I'm sure yep it comes with the big tub of not doing a good job of showing you that big tub of cream and then in the bottom it comes with the little muslin cloth which you can just chuck in the washing machine and wash that um you can also just buy these if you want like spares and stuff when i got up to the till with this she said oh that's the one that she said everybody's been talking about that it's had really good reviews and people keep coming up to the till and repurchasing it and saying this is them buying it again and again because it's really good like they really really love it this one was 5.99 and they also had another one that was from like that vitamin like this range like this vitamin e range thing that i think was either 3.99 or 4.99 it was slightly cheaper but I thought I would try this one and the woman said that everybody's been loving it and coming back and getting it. So I'm really excited about trying that because if people are, I don't like go by what everybody says, but if people are like going to come in and buy stuff, I keep doing this. <sighs> anyway, what was I saying? Lost it. Done it again. Oh. Anyway, could edit this out. Not going to. Just going to keep going. Can't remember what I was saying. Yes, if people are going to repurchase something again and again, it's probably likely to be really good right last two things these are makeup asked them what makeup they had that was cruelty free they said their own range but their own range was getting a makeover like their little counter thing was getting out not the counter you know like the little bit was getting a makeover so they're i'm doing it again was getting a makeover it's like i'm dancing anyway the little bit was getting a makeover and oh i'm still doing it um oh, all the stuff was out they had like li literally scraps of stuff hardly anything at all but they said very soon they're getting a whole new range of stuff in in this like their own super drug range the girl at the counter said it's really really good and it's as good as like some of the other makes and it's way way cheaper this i think was 49 pence and it is one of those eyeliner things i'm not even going to attempt to open it it's in a kind of plummy color but it's in the smoky thing where it's got the so you've got like the pencil thing at one end and then at the other end it's got the little bit to like smoke it out. I've got one that looks exactly like this with the exact same smudgy thing and it was not, this is like a plum colour but the one I've got is black and it was from Body Shop and I think it was about 6 99 or 7 99 or something. So and this was 49 pence so I thought I would try it for that. I thought it, you know, even if it doesn't work out it's not that bad but it looks really nice and it's in yeah like a plummy very very deep purpley color it looks nice i thought it'd be different nice to try something different because i always just use black this is a lip gloss let me see it doesn't seem to have any sort of color on it so i don't know what color it is but it's in that kind of color that i like which is the nude kind of i'll just show you the tube that's probably easier thing to do like a nude kind of kind of similar to what i've got on just now nudie darky kind of like dark nude color type thing that color like but naturally kind of color mauvey brownie bad at describing colors bad at describing smells Ugh. waffle on don't know why i do videos anyway because i do enjoy it and i enjoy interacting with all of you anyway that's me done going to stop with the waffling on and the moving of the hands about all the time and i'm going to go and if you're still even watching, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.